everyone, I'm Sandrine and this is Amer. Hello. And in this video we're going to do a breakdown of the preview for next week's episode of Game of Thrones titled No One. A lot of things are, ex are being explored in this particular trailer. Let's start with the first one being Cersei and the Faith Militant. It clearly... <laughs> the scene we've all been waiting for where she's being asked a question and she says i choose violence is uh, is gonna happen in this particular scene yes. with the mountain going ham on the fate militant and they don't look like they're they're very yeah, sure they of themselves know, yeah is the mountain gonna win he That's might win again these guys I, I have a, i have a feeling that they might not push their luck maybe too much or they might come back later on who knows but i don't know it's possible that this might be where the mountain first really goes at it mm. and starts slaughtering you think a he's lot gonna of kill them. lancel you think lancel's gonna die I think Lancel is a goner. That's uh, I don't uh, for me that it's he's always been a goner. He was goner from the moment I saw him again. I'm like I don't know when you're gonna die, but you're gonna die. What I'm wondering is can he take on the Kingsguard, which are now fate militants also, and you know they have big swords too, and maybe he can take on one or two. But can he take on an entire Do you Kingsguard? Think Common army? would send his guards against his mother. Not his mother, but maybe against him because he went against the faith. Right, but isn't the mountain part of like... I don't know this. Yeah. I don't know this. It's possible also that the High Sparrow is using this incident to basically discredit the mountain as a potential champion for Cersei in the trial by combat. How could he discredit him? He might just say he went after the guards. He killed people. He, he sinned against the god. And he might say, you know, mother, you can use any champion except the mountain. If the king says that, it's a kind of a wrap on that one. But is there a rule that you can't use anyone? Like, I don't know, I just... It's possible. Yeah, That's uh, what I'm saying. Right. The possibility is what I'm evoking here. Yes, there are a lot of possibilities. <laughs> we also finally get Brienne at River Run, which we thought was going to happen in this past episode, but it's happening in this next episode. And we get the Jamie and Brienne reunion. Jamie and I don't think it's as, as cool of a reunion as everybody's hoping for because in yeah. this particular case, Brienne is telling Jamie, I'm gonna fight with the, the, the Tullys. It's clear to me that Brienne came here on the behest of her new lady, which is Sansa. And Sansa asked her to go and get Blackfish, Blackfish and, to his come, army, yeah. and his army to come out. Which is not going to happen, yeah. right? Because they're not going to let him go out. So in this particular case, it's possible that she's going to be able to go in because Jamie's going to let but her go in. But we see the, her yeah. giving the note. We see her Black giving Fish the note. Really. And at that point, we also see Blackfish pulling a sword. And we see Brienne leaving in the night, which tells me... On a boat. On a boat. With it seems very like... Hush, 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 like, hush, yeah. Oh, what's and she has a, a face of um, this I, is not gonna end well, which tells me that Blackfish probably said, Look, I can't help you, but the only thing I can do is let you escape with your life because I know you would fight for me, but you have other pressing matters that yes. you need to deal with, i.e., you know, go and help Sansa uh, survive this. So it's not gonna end well for the Blackfish. I think the speech that Jamie is giving to apparently Edmure. Right? It looks like he's talking to Edmure. About him really wanting to get back to to yeah, Cersei. To Cersei. And I and I think honestly, this is indicative that things are gonna go down. I don't know how badly they're gonna go down, but it does appear, based on my research, that in the book it kind of ends peacefully in the sense that Edmure manages to convince Blackfish to sort of give up the castle. But based on this episode, it doesn't look like Blackfish really holds Edmure into high in high regard at all. So it doesn't seem that Edmure is going to be able to convince him in this particular case to do the same thing. I don't think Blackfish is going to actually make make it out of this alive. We're finally getting the Patrick Braun scene. <laughs> the reunion. The reunion <laughs> of some sort. I hope it's a good one. I think they'll be fine. Yeah, they got along. Fun. Well, yeah. Plus, we we see that Patrick. It looks like he's leaving with Brienne as well. So yeah, I, I would. Better. If anything, if if I were to put my money on anything, I would put my money on Braun saving Patrick. That's possible. I really would put my money on it. It's like, you know, this was for old time's sake, but this is it. I think yeah. that that's where I would put my money on it. We also see the hound out for vengeance because he's going to wield that axe. Yeah. And I think the brotherhood are going to be like, we regret everything we did. I feel like the hound already didn't really like the brotherhood without banners because of their first encounter. But now it's like, oh, now it's on. Like for real. And then we get Tyrion 
looking up at the ceiling. As it looks like there's a little thump of something moving the ceiling. Could it be a dragon returning? Or dragon leaving? Or dragon something? <laughs> I think it's dragon related, in my opinion. I yeah. think it's a dragon returning. I think it's Daenerys coming back. Because, you know, Marine was not too far with, you know, flying with by a dragon, you know. <laughs> this could be the return of Daenerys. You sort of like in advance of her army coming back, retaking her city. The other possibility would actually be kind of worse, which would be the other dragons who are still in the cellar, if I'm not mistaken. Well, but yeah, whatever happens. Essentially that? trying to get out, which would not be pretty good. Honestly, my money is on Daenerys. Da yeah, Daenerys. I think Daenerys. it really it would is. make sense. Finally, we see the waif in action running with a smirk, <laughs> as it looks. And we also see someone who's jumping, and it looks like it's Arya. So the Waif and the Arya part two is gonna be in effect, especially since the episode is called No One. Here's the thing. I know this is controversial, and I know you disagree with me. I still don't think it's Arya jumping. Are out you of shitting me? Look, I don't think Are it's you her! Me? I think it's Jack and Ogon! You just said that we hear her scream when she jumps. I do, but I still don't think it's her. Okay, first of all, I, no. It's, you think it's, it's Arya. Arya? Yes, you hear her scream, you see the build is obviously really skinny. Like, have you seen Jack and Hagar? He does not look like this. Or they took a really wrong skinny stunt stuntman. Jack and like, Hagar. they need to do a better job. Fine. What do you guys think? Do you think it's Arya? Comment below, let me know. Of course it's Arya. Do you think it might possibly be Jack and Hagar no. who's coming into action to punish the wave for not doing what she no. was told? No, because not running away from someone she's running to someone now that doesn't mean he won't punish her for whatever she's been doing here's later the thing. on here's the thing my head agrees with you but my heart is saying no because that's what you, you just want to see jack and hagar in action doing something i gotta right? do i gotta do i gotta do <laughs> but anyways you guys let me know if i'm crazy comment below let me know now normally we'd look at the synopsis for the next episode but hbo hasn't released an official synopsis for the episode yet so we're just gonna move on to our checklist of scenes from the season six trailers that we haven't seen yet sansa on a horse Still wearing her dress with the Stark sigil. I don't think we saw this particular scene yet. So that might be when they go into battle. battle. With the Boltons. Yes. Walder Frey. We didn't see this particular scene yet. And it looks like his sons are back from Riverrun. And, and they're celebrating. The Boltons versus John and Sansa. That fight, that's... I think that's definitely coming in episode nine. I don't think it's coming in this this next episode. So episode nine, I think, is going to be the big battle that we've been waiting for. I also don't think we saw the, the bloody hand yet on the floor. I always kind of assumed that it was part of the, the mountain killing one of the faith militants. But now I don't know. I mean, I, I'm thinking maybe behind him is a Cersei and all, uh, the other faith militant looking. Uh, you know, just him laying on the ground, but it could be something else. And then we have Littlefinger meeting someone in the snow. And at this point, we're assuming Sansa because we think she, the letter she sent, is to Littlefinger to uh, get him to come and help them. And finally, I just realized that I don't think we saw the Sons of the Harpy. Let me know if I'm wrong on this, but I really think we haven't seen them this season. But in the trailer, we do see a really them. short scene of them. Killing. Killing people again. We've definitely talked about them and we figured out who was financing them, but I don't think we've actually seen them this season. So they're definitely coming back based on that scene from the trailer. I have a feeling that the way they look up or the way that scene is going, there might be something going on. It might be when Daenerys is back or something's happening that they weren't expecting. At least that's what I'm hoping. You know, dragons, the Thrakis. Shit is going down. Harpies are gonna go down for sure. <laughs> that's it for the breakdown. But of course, we'd love to hear some of your theories. If there's anything that we missed, let us know in the comments. Do you think the Blackfish is going down with the castle? Do you think that Daenerys is back? With Drogon, I everyone think Arya else. Arya is the one jumping, or is it Jack and Hagar? Comment below, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our other Game of Thrones videos. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye. bye. Here's the thing that I'm still a, a little confused about the the, the, dra the two dragons. He mo removed their chains to set them free. Did he not set them free? I don't know. Did they not like just open and let them? Because that was the whole point that he was making. You know, dragons are free. Probably shouldn't leave them in captivity. But it looks like they ended up leaving them in captivity. Yeah. So now I'm like, well, whatever happened to it, them? But 